Hey everybody, it's your boy Mikel Casanova. I know it's been a minute since I've really put up a, a full-on video, like a heart-to-heart -heart video like this. Um, this last week has been incredibly busy. You know, I've been doing a lot of things. As you can see, the office has been, you know, getting work done. So my wife now has her own desk. I'm, you know, I have mine here. And, you know, we got the setup, the layout. Um, you probably can't see everything, but, you know, it's just been busy. You know, work. Um, now part of this apprenticeship program is federally funded. So, you know, pretty soon we work, you know, I'm going to be working for the DOD. So, really happy about that. So, my content may slow down compared to what it was before. I uh, just want to give you guys a channel update. But, um, one thing I did want to say is what I was able to successfully do yesterday was pass the CompTIA A plus certification, the 902 exam. And I already completed the 901 and now I completed the 902. So I'm now officially CompTIA A plus certified. See? I'm certified. Um, and I also have my IT fundamentals as well, since I don't have a degree in um, I don't have a degree in computer science. My degree is in communications marketing. Um, I just want to say how um, much this means to me. Uh, I put in a lot of a lot of hours, a lot of months, a lot of just studying, studying, studying. My head's in the books, you know. I'm just reading and absorbing a lot of knowledge, and to see that pay off. You know, for me to get my cert, you know, that, that just, it just means so much to me that I have this, you know. I, I have to say, like, this is going to be one of the personal videos. I, um, when I passed my test, first thing I did was uh, I hit up my boy Steel Toro and I told him that I passed it, you know. And here's the thing, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I failed the 902 test three times. Um, that test is not, it's not easy. Especially if your background is not in IT. Um, and the way they structure the questions can throw you off. You know, I, the first time, you know, I failed it and I was like, man, um, Okay, I'm going to get right back at it. Second time I failed it, it's like, damn. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Third time I failed it, um, and it hurt. You know, the third time hurt me the hardest. And um, I, I basically almost gave up on it, you know, because I, I started to feel like maybe IT wasn't for me. Maybe I wasn't able to do it. I feel like I left let down the guys in Polytex. I feel like I let down my wife. You know my family and everyone who supported me and I just really became hard on myself and, and just you know I didn't think I could do it and then um, I just kept at it you know just reading studying you know going back to work studying reading more and I just kept at it I kept mashing and I took the test again and I passed it, you know. I'm really happy that I was able to do that. And one of the things I, I really want to tell you guys is, no matter what, um, no matter how many times you fail, or you, and, and let, let's break down failure. You know, failure is when you give up. You know, you could take a test and not pass it. You may not have passed the test, they may have marked fail, but that does not make you a failure. It just means that you need to go back and keep mashing and keep going until you pass that test. That's like anything in life. Anything we started in life, um, we weren't great at. You know, we may have had the look of skill in it, but that doesn't mean we were just great at it. And a lot of people, it's just like, if you go back over some of the, the comments of my uh, fight stick review, I had people saying that I was trash at Tekken, I was trash, this, this, and this, you know, I should, I, I should quit, 
you know, I'm embarrassing myself. Same thing when I played Street Fighter V when I streamed. I had one night where I was just taking L's. And I had people saying that they were, you know, they would never do that because they wouldn't want to embarrass themselves like that. They'd only want to play when they're looking good. Okay, so, you know, failure to, that, that just tells me when people say stuff like that, they fear failure. And that's, that's the thing. I feel like that's something we're taught growing up is to feel, fear failing, that we've got to hit certain expectations. And it's really unfortunate that there's so many people that are afraid to even, they're so afraid of failing that they will actually not even bother to attempt to do something just because they're afraid of failing you know and and with me i've i've failed at a lot of things you know that does not make me a failure but i've not successfully done a lot of things in my life especially in the last 12 years there's a lot of things that i've started and i didn't necessarily i wouldn't say i was always successful at it but I kept mashing and going. And when I say mashing, I, I'm saying you keep at it. So I kept at it, you know, over and over and over until I succeeded. And the only time I would step away from it, you know, if I don't succeed in it, is when I step away and I say, you know what, I, I'm good. I tried. This ain't for me. So, you know, for instance, for me, my story. You know, my family told me, with the exception of my mother, my family told me I would never pass middle school. I would never graduate from high school. I would never make it into college. I was stupid. I'd be a failure, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, having that kind of negativity and the type of person I am, I wanted to prove them wrong. And sometimes the best revenge is the best way to get back at people is just to be successful and do your own thing do you you know even where I work now you know I was told by people who trained me my own supervisor that you know IT is not cut out for me because I don't have a degree in IT I don't have a background in IT you know this ain't for me how did I get hired because I don't have an IT degree um, you know people like me and when they said people like me they were referring to black people like me uh, are not cut out to be in IT you know we're meant to do other things sing and dance and juke and jive and entertain people um, and I was you know that's and that's one of the I mean because where I work is predominantly white and Asian and you know being the only black guy in there is kind of that's overcoming a stereotype too. Like they, it's kind of like, why are you here? You know. Um, so I, I dealt with that at work, and I've dealt with that. You know, when I was in school, people trying to, trying to do the same thing. Like you, you'll never succeed, and that's always been something I've always heard. And it's so funny when I look at where I'm at now, what I've been accomplishing, what I have accomplished thus far. You know, the getting these. Um, is that I've got the heart of a lion. I don't buy, I don't back down. I keep at it. I keep mashing. And it's one thing you can't teach people. And I, I, I want to quote my boy Steele. You cannot teach heart. You know, you can teach any type of skill, but heart is something you gotta have. And there's something you guys out there you want to accomplish in life, and you got people telling you you'll never do it, or you're stupid, or you'll fail. I want to tell you this. I believe in you. You will succeed so long as you believe it because it has to start with you and no one else. It has to start with you. You got to believe it. You got to see yourself being able to achieve it. Nobody's got to believe in your vision but you because you're the most important factor in that. And I'm saying that because I accomplished something that people I work with don't even have this. You know, they say it's not important. They don't need it. They would. That's a waste of time. And yet I've got this, and I'm going places they will never go. You know, the people that put me down where I work, the people, the shitheads I went to college with, all 99% of them, 99 of them, 
They say I would never do anything. Put me down. I'm going further than there, than them, and I'm gonna keep going because I won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. I'm destined to succeed. I believe that. That's my vision. And if you want to do something in life, you want to achieve something. Look, do it. Do the damn thing. If you don't get it right the first time, go back, reassess, and keep going. Keep mashing. Keep doing that. Because you can do it. This, to me, is as important to me as my college degree. I'm so proud of this. I'm so proud of myself for being able to achieve this. Because when I got it and I sat down in my car after I, I, I got the cert, and I cried, you know, I had just literally tears coming down my face. I was crying because, you know, I did what people said I couldn't do. I proved them wrong. I proved myself right that I wasn't, I wasn't wrong that I could do this. I believed in myself, you know, and I'm proud of accomplishing that. I'm so proud of it. And this is just the beginning. You know, I'm in this apprenticeship program now. I got school five nights a week. I got homework. And it's it's amazing. A year ago, I never could have saw myself where I'm at now. Two years ago, I wouldn't have even fathomed where I am, where I was. Like, okay, so two years ago, I wouldn't have fathomed where I was a year ago. So, it just goes to show you. Keep pushing forward, keep going up, never stop believing in yourself, never stop dreaming, never stop mashing, keep at it, embrace your dreams, I'm proud of what I've accomplished, I'm happy where I am in life, and it's only going to get better, so, it's your boy Mikhail Casanova, sign out, I just want to say I believe in you. If you want to reach out to me, go ahead and reach out to me. Send me a message on Google Plus. You know, there's a link to the Telegram group below if you want to reach out. If you want to talk to any of us in Polytex. You know, we need advice on, I mean, big shout out to my boy, Duan Lightfoot. You know, he's doing the thing, telling people and educating and showing y'all how to get into this IT game. Why it's so crucial to get certified. Why so many doors open when, if you want to get certified. So go check out his channel. Links to his channel is down in the links below. Um, check out everybody in Polytex. You know, we, this is this brand. This brand that we have is, is truly going to make some moves. And we're already making moves. So if you want to be part of it, and join the group below. Uh, links to our shirt. We got shirts and merchandise now if you want to purchase them. Again, down in the links below. So, you know, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for uh, checking out and just spending time to watch my my channel update video. And, you know, tell me what y'all think of this layout. You know, we got more we're working on. And um, I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm getting my phones blowing up, so I got messages. So, anyway. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Deuce is watch your boy Mikel Casanova. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you then. Deuce is watch.